Former BJD leader and member of parliament Jay Panda is officially with the BJP. It was a development that was expected for a while, but Jay took his own time to reach that conclusion. He's joining us now. Uh, congratulations on your new innings, Jay. Many people would think uh, or argue that this was long expected and uh, it, you know all that was left was the formality. Would you agree with that description? Because on Twitter, you went on to say that it took you several months of introspection uh, to reach this conclusion. So what tilted the balance for you? Well, uh, you know, I was going through a period of great difficulty in the BJD after it started changing into a very different kind of party about five years ago, where uh, it started sheltering criminals and many elected members of the BJD have been uh, involved in very serious corruption charges in the chit fund scam in Odisha, the rise of crime against women and children. Uh, these are issues that uh, I had to speak out against and it was creating problems and some critics started claiming that I was doing this with an objective and that I had a, an affinity uh, for the BJP. But I was trying to do all of that uh, uh, in my earlier party to try to correct, to course correct. Now I think I disappointed many people when after I quit the BJD, I also quit parliament uh, on a matter of principle yeah. and I did not immediately join any party. It has been little more than nine months. And uh, I have spent this time extensively traveling around Odisha, mm. meeting with uh, thousands of members of the public, taking their feedback, meeting political colleagues, meeting supporters uh, and volunteers who have worked for me mm. to take feedback. And uh, it came down to two things. It came down to finally uh, have conviction in me that the Bharatiya Janata Party is best suited to bring about improvement in Odisha, development in Odisha and to take the decisions necessary for the long-term benefit of India. Mm. And uh, uh, I have openly said that uh, Prime Minister Modi ji has shown the ability to take these tough decisions, mm. which are very much in the long-term interest of the nation. Uh, Jay, one of the reasons for your sort of uh, fallout, as it were, with Naveen Patnayak uh, was seen to be his suspicion that you were the BJP's man in Delhi and not his man in Delhi. Uh, with joining the BJP, would you have solidified that perception in the Biju Janata then? Absolutely not. In fact, uh, please remember, Barkha, that when the BJD was founded right from the very beginning, it was founded as an ally of the BJP. Right from the beginning, we had a common program and the agendas that were commonly thrashed out between the BJP and BJD is what I was entrusted to champion in Delhi. Mm. Furthermore, it was my responsibility in Delhi to keep very good relations with the BJP as well as with other political parties. Now, I kept championing these ideas on the basis of principle because they had been arrived at by principle. And I was uh, never anybody else's man in uh, the BJD. As I, I told you the real reasons mm. about why I left. And the evidence is there if you would uh, just care to look at it. The evidence that Odisha has seen the highest rise of crimes against women and children. The evidence that while the nation worries about a rise of crime, for example, what happened in Kathua in Jammu and Kashmir where a young girl was gang raped and murdered, mm. you have had 50 such incidents in Odisha. It would have been unconscionable for anybody in public life in Odisha not to speak out against a party that is harboring criminals. There are literally hundreds of uh, examples of this that uh, you ought to be highlighting. So no, that was not the case at all. And uh, I have taken a principled decision because I spoke with uh, many political parties. I spoke with friends across the political spectrum before I came to the conclusion. And it was nine months of introspection, mm. nine months of soul searching before I came to the conclusion that the BJP is best suited for this. Please recall, Barkha, oh. that uh, over the last couple of months, in fact, there was a lot of speculation that I was uh, going to be aligned with other political forces. That's right. So why would you naturally draw the conclusion that uh, there was some ulterior motive? You know, what I was going to ask you is that there was a sense in the middle that you would perhaps go it alone and that you would uh, choose your sides after uh, the results were in, which is, which is in other words called hedging bets. Uh, there was that perception as well. Why did you finally decide uh, to, t you know, to in a sense pick a side? Because you could have remained solo and chosen the side after the results were in. 
Yes, you are right. Uh, for a while in the middle, one of the, in fact, all the options that I was considering included uh, joining a major national party as well as perhaps helping to found a new regional party or indeed, as you are now saying, to contest as an independent, uh, which would have required for me to take uh, support of uh, one of the national parties mm. because uh, almost no independents or very few independents uh, actually get elected to parliament because of the breakup of our parliamentary and electoral system. But let me tell you, the final decision was based on the feedback that I got from the ground. There is a tremendous upsurge of uh, enthusiasm for Prime Minister Modi ji and for the Bharatiya Janata Party. There is tremendous support for his policies and conviction that he is the right person for India's future. Mm. And uh, I had to respect that opinion and I myself was convinced about it. And uh, Jay, uh, there was, uh, you know, at least according to media rumor mills, uh, there was a sense that, you know, you could be presented as the main main face of the BJP campaign, but that spot is seen to be taken already by uh, senior BJP leader Dharmendra Pradhan. So in what role uh, do you see yourself campaigning for the BJP? You know, uh, I spent 18 years in parliament and I never hankered for any position. I haven't come into politics for the usual reasons and uh, I have I think I have uh, worked hard at creating a legacy that I have stood up for certain issues and I have uh, pursued those, uh, uh, those issues in parliament, uh, outside in the media, on shows such as yours as well as in the columns that I write and the book I have written, Latians Maverick. Hmm. Uh, the reality is this, I am not hankering for any position, I never have. I want to see a better India and I want to see a better Odisha. And what I'm very happy about is that the BJP is a democratic party. It is a disciplined party. Yesterday after my joining ceremony, when we sat down with the party president, uh, Sri Amit Shah, along with Odisha BJP leaders, yeah. it felt so comfortable to have an open discussion with back and forth uh, discussion, open ideas from everybody else, which was lacking in my earlier party where there was no open discussion, only decisions were read out hmm. by the party leader. So let me tell you this. I am committed to implementing the agenda of the party and making it succeed in Odisha and in India without hankering for any post. Whatever the party decides should be my role. I will enthusiastically work on it and whatever be the roles of other colleagues in the party, if that is the party decision, I will support the party decision. And uh, let me ask you this, you've said in the past that you thought one man uh, was ruling Orissa and you didn't even mean Naveen Patnayak, you meant the all-powerful bureaucrat Mr. Pandian whom you have often alluded to and named in your previous interviews. Uh, how, do you, how do you see the role of your, your, your family-run businesses, uh, the media channel that is uh, run uh, by your wife and the reason I bring it up, I normally wouldn't bring up uh, what a spouse does is because it has been at the receiving end uh, of, of crackdowns by the Orissa government, something that has been raised in public. Uh, how do you expect uh, that to play out now that you've officially joined the BJP? Do you expect to get some breathing space or do you think it will only get worse? I think you have asked an important question and let me answer it frankly. The reality is that it is Naveen Patnaik for whom the people of Odisha have voted four times and ultimately he has to bear responsibility. But it is true that this serving officer, Pandian, has uh, exceeded all the norms, he has gone past all the red lines of a serving civil servant's role because he is widely accused, not just by me but by many people, of collecting party funds for the BJD, mm. of distributing funds, of allocating party tickets and, and much more, of uh, sheltering criminals, of, um, uh, of uh, illegal deals to raise uh, black money for politics. So, and, and everybody knows the impact of this. This is why the law and order in Odisha has deteriorated. Now, the second part of your question, mm. it is a matter of public record that businesses associated with my family members have been harassed. Mm. They have been attacked by goons belonging to the BJD. They have been caught on live television, breaking, damaging facilities. Uh, and uh, they have, uh, uh, you know, they have, they have trod on media freedom when the television channel that you refer to hmm. broke a story of suppression of evidence in a gang rape case, uh, the journalists were arrested, which is quite shocking. Hmm. Uh, so, 
look, these are businesses that have existed for many decades and they will have to function on their own. I am not involved in batting for them. Uh, the family business is more than six decades old. The, the media company is a quarter century old and is the most respected and successful media channel in Odisha. It has more TRPs than all the other news channels combined. Mm. So I think they are doing just fine. They have built credibility. They have built professionalism. I don't need to bat for them and I don't need to expect that the party I belong to will bat for them either. Let me ask you though to, to, to look ahead into the future. If you look at a post-poll scenario, uh, there, is, there is some talk that Naveen Patnaik is not in fact unfriendly uh, when it comes to Prime Minister Modi, that if tomorrow it came to a situation where the BJP needs a few extra numbers, uh, there is a sense that Naveen Patnaik could chip in. Uh, in the past, there have been critical votes uh, inside Parliament where Naveen Patnaik has come to the rescue of the BJP. Uh, how do you plan to navigate a piquant situation where you leave the Biju Janta Dal, you join the BJP, and a situation arises where uh, uh, Naveen Babu is, is, is back to supporting the BJP, if that happens? I, I don't have to navigate <laughs> any issues here at all because I have joined the BJP on a matter of principle with conviction that Prime Minister Modi ji is best suited to lead India forward and uh, the party president Amit Shah ji has helped build the most formidable political party in the world, not just in India. So whatever is in the best interest of Odisha, whatever is in the best interest of India, will be arrived at by the BJP in a democratic manner, in an open manner, which I experienced for the first time yesterday when I joined. And I have no problems with that. But uh, let me point out that the BJD and Naveen Patnaik uh, have benefited in the past from uh, uh, playing footsie with national parties and betraying them at the last minute. Hmm. The BJP itself has experienced this earlier as well as some other parties. That is something that has to be kept in mind. But uh, I want to make it very clear that uh, I am not here for any particular positioning for myself. I am here for the better, to work for the improvement and betterment of Odisha and India through the Bharatiya Janata Party under the leadership of Modi ji and Amit Shah ji. But you would warn the BJP to not take, uh, to not count on uh, consistent support from Naveen Patnaik. That's what I'm hearing there. You would warn them against it. I think, uh, I think the BJP has a lot of experience with BJD because as I told you earlier, the BJD was formed with the help of BJP. Let me tell you, I was involved with the formation of the BJD right from the beginning. The BJD would never have been formed if uh, Vajpayee ji and Advani ji and Pramod Mahajan ji had not helped to set it up because when the old Janata Dal was breaking up after late Biju uncle passed away, hmm. A large number of uh, the Janata Dal MLAs and MPs wanted to go to the BJP, but uh, when uh, Naveen Patnaik came on the scene, uh, the BJP agreed to help him set up a party and work in partnership. And we have seen two generations of BJP leadership experience that uh, coalition with BJD, where there was betrayal involved. Uh, and so I think people are aware now and uh, don't take things at face value. One, la one last question. Ideologically, where do you identify your, yourself on the sort of uh, left to right spectrum? Because we in media are used to you being uh, one of the more measured, uh, reasonable, I would even argue, centrist uh, voices on a, on a range of issues. And now uh, you, will, uh, you are officially part of a party that is seen to be uh, right of center, culturally right, uh, right of center on, uh, certainly on matters of national security. Uh, there has been some talk of a high Muslim voter base in your constituency how this will go down with them. So ideologically, because you spent a number of months thinking about this, how did you sort of uh, reach your own point of affiliation with the BJP? I think uh, because of all that introspection, I came to the conclusion that ideologically I am closer to the BJP than to any other political entity. In fact, Varka, I think you will agree that uh, if you look at my positions, and they are in writing, they are in print for the columns I have been writ writing for about 15 years, mm. that on many positions I am center right, such as on fiscal positions, yes, on some cultural and, and uh, on some sociological issues, I am quite a centrist with on some issues being slightly right of center and on some issues being 
slightly left of center. But I have found to my pleasure when interacting with BJP leadership, interacting with affiliated organizations, that the impression that is created about the BJP and its affiliated organizations uh, is not true. In fact, there is quite a lot of openness, which you would have seen uh, if you looked at the recent uh, developments on certain legislations in parliament and uh, th their uh, uh, adjudication in the Supreme Court. Yes. I think you would have seen that it is possible to be centrist in a manner that you can be a little bit center right on some issues and a little bit center left on, on some uh, uh, sociological issues and there's nothing wrong in that. Nobody has to be, it does not have to be black and white extremes. And uh, uh, Jay, your final message today to Naveen Patnayak, uh, once your political boss and mentor, as you cross over the trenches to the other side, would be what? My message to Naveen Patnayak uh, is, would be one of uh, despair because, you know, when I was in the party from 2014 to 2017, I tried speaking inside the party and getting him to introspect and see how the party had changed dramatically. Uh, it took a different turn when in uh, May of 2017, I was assaulted by BJD members with stones, mm. bricks and eggs. And you saw that deterioration when within the last few years, few months, you have seen the creation of the so-called uh, Biju Yuva Vahini, which is popularly in Odisha called the Biju Gunda Vahini. <laughs> 400 crores of government money spent on a so-called cultural organization that is openly in broad daylight beating up mm. opposition political leaders. This is on live television. The kind of gundagiri, the kind of crime and violence, the kind of corruption that has happened in Odisha in the last five years. I would urge Naveen Patnaik to look inwards and to, and to question his conscience, how he can tolerate the party that he founded becoming this. This is exactly what the BJD had been founded to counter in the late 90s uh, of the then governing party in Odisha. How has the BJD come to this stage to become exactly that which it was founded to oppose and counter? Hmm. I wish he would introspect. Well, strong words from uh, Jay Panda now with the BJP. Uh, Jay Panda, good luck with your new uh, innings as a BJP leader uh, in Orissa. And uh, Naveen Patnayak, I'm sure, will have much to say about all that you've said. Thank you very much for being a newsmaker on Democracy Live.